Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and today we'll be moving on with our tutorial series on how to create a first person shooter game in Unity. Now, first off, if you're new as usual, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one so you'll have a better understanding of what's going on and how we've arrived at this point in our game. So, yeah, if you were following my previous tutorial, you know that today I'll be showing you guys a simple pause menu where you can pause your game, do whatever you have to do, and then unpause your game and resume from the position in which you left your game. So yeah, I'll be showing you guys that. What you can do, you can check for the link in the description below and download the package today and import it into your project. You should arrive with a tutorial 11 folder within that folder there is a pause button script that's where the good stuff is going to happen so yeah it's pretty simple all you need to do is just take the script and just drag it onto your first person controller good stuff and after that you just hit play but I recommend you go and uh, remove the high courser and the show courser just select the icon next to the high courser I already did that and just remove the component and the show courser as well and just remove the component good stuff and we'll just hit play and you'll see the script in effect the reason why I told you guys to you know remove the component is basically because this script actually hides the courser when you resume the game so yeah we uh, we start the game now and you can notice that the game is already paused and we can't really move around you know I'm pressing the forward side back keys and I can't really move around you know good stuff so if we hit we just select the resume now you'll notice that we can move around good stuff and our enemy is over there and if we hit escape everything freezes it basically freezes time you know good stuff and we hit resume and it resumes the game good stuff so yeah that's pretty much it guys for this tutorial uh, on how to actually uh, place a simple pause menu in your game you know a simple pause button so you can actually pause your game and you know do whatever you like to do and then come back to your game so yeah guys that's pretty much that I uh, hope you guys like this tutorial uh, if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my channel and in the next tutorial I'll basically be doing a total review of everything we've done so far so uh, from tutorial 1 to tutorial 11 I will be doing a little bit of a review you know so for persons who are following you know they will you know have some sort of uh, what should I say organizing feel you know so if you had any problems or encountered any problems you know and you didn't comment it below you know you can comment below in the next tutorial and I will get back to you guys with the solution to your problem so yeah you guys can look forward for that and also you can look forward for my uh, new tutorial series that I'll be starting on how to make a zombie like first person shooter game with the unity game engine so yeah once again hope you like this video if you do you can give me a thumbs up do remember to subscribe keep yourself up to date with my tutorial series on how to create a first person shooter game in unity so until next time, continue making games guys. Peace.